Hi guys, it's Curly Guy here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I deep condition and moisturize my natural hair. As you guys know, it is winter time and the hair is a little bit more prone to being dry. So I'm just going to show you guys how I go from this hot mess, dry, frizzy mess to moisturized, deep conditioned hair that's sealed in and ready for styling. So if you guys want to see how I get this, then just keep watching. So the first product I'm going to be using is the Shea Moisture Restorative Conditioner for a co-wash and this is like my favorite conditioner by Shea Moisture, one of my favorite conditioners. You guys know how I feel about it. And then I'm going to be using the 10 in 1 Superfruit Renewal Complex and this just gets my hair right back where it needs to be, prepped for styling. And as my moisturizer, I'm going to be using the Shea Moisture Curler Hands and Smoothie. You guys know this is one of my Holy Grail Ride or Die products. I use this religiously for everything. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is co-washing my hair as I've already done. And now I'm going to be sectioning my hair off into two sections. I don't break my hair down into a lot of sections to apply my deep conditioner just because I mainly want to focus it on the ends. That's where I get the most dryness for my hair. You know it's the oldest part of your hair. And then I take a little bit up to the root and all over my forehead obviously. Um, but then I just repeat the same thing on the other side. And don't mind my mom coming to my room. I don't know why she did that, but anyway. So then I just sit under my heated cap. You guys know I do this. Um, it's easier and more convenient for me. And I just sit under there for about 30 minutes. And now my hair is freshly rinsed out. And as you can see, my hair is a lot more shiny and manageable it's very soft i know you guys can't see the softness but then i just go ahead and section it off again and i do section my hair into four sections to apply this um shea moisture curling has a smoothie because i want to make sure it's thoroughly in each section and my hair does tend to dry out fast i don't know why but um i just take my spray bottle and spritz the section down just to make it a little bit more easy to apply that shea moisture curling has a smoothie and i just repeat that on each section And as you guys see, I am being very generous with this product because I do like to add a lot of product to my hair um, during the winter, fall and winter months because it just maintains it and it keeps me from needing to reapply product as often. So then I just release both of those sections and then I'm going to go in with some Jamaican black castor oil and apply that just mainly to the ends of my hair. Um, I find that this oil is very thick so it really does seal in the moisture a lot better than using like coconut oil or olive oil. It just works a lot better for me in the winter time. So I just put this mainly on the ends as I said before and then I work the rest through my hair. And yeah, that's pretty much it guys. I just make sure my hair is good and moisturized, make sure there's product all over. If I see any spots that need more moisture, I'll go back and reapply some more of that Curl Enhancer Smoothie. But this is pretty much all I do. I hope this helps you guys. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please like it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.